2-0. Oh, somebody else who is at 2-0 is now with us in the studio, Katerina Nemsova, who won her game as well. Katerina, congratulations. Good to join us. What are your thoughts about this game? Did you feel like you were commanding throughout, or was there a big event that occurred that changed the evaluation in your favor? Uh, thank you. Uh, I think it was a very complicated game. At the beginning, my time management was not very good, so I was in time trouble a little bit. Uh, but it was always like, you know, we were staring at each other and I was thinking about pushing like at some moment, maybe C5 or E5, but I wasn't doing anything and she was also shuffling pieces around. So it looked like we are just waiting who's going to strike first. So what happened that caused you to suddenly be up material? I managed to find, I think, a nice kind of reshuffling of pieces where I'm really threatening to activate both of my bishops. And I have this amazing bishop on B4. That's like, you know, blocking E1 square. So anytime I have F5, like the E6 pawn is really weak, but no one can attack it. So I'm very happy with that. And I'm just waiting for my bishop from B7 to be active as well. The only thing is like, I think about playing C5, but I don't want to lock my bishop on B4 as well, because then it's like just a pawn. It cannot go back, it cannot do anything. Uh, so yeah, I wasn't really sure what to do. So I wanted to move the bishop back, maybe a reshuffle, and now to play C5. She played F4 and joined you with this weakened square it looks like you are the one who were able to take advantage of this weakness on e4 more than she could take e5. Yeah, I was not expecting f4. I, I don't think it was very necessary, but it's very uncomfortable to like think what you want to do because like you want to play g3 or h3, like the bishop is really strong there. I may play f4 if I want to. I am still threatening c5. So it's, it's not a comfortable position for white. Indeed, very complex. We jump ahead and suddenly when you had your queen on e4, that seemed to be just a, a fantastic position for you, you took the pawn, and, and here you took on e4, and that configuration of queen on e4, rook on b2, you were active, even though it looked like she had passed pawns, but they weren't going anywhere. Yeah, the white's position is locked, because I'm attacking g2, so the rook has to go to g1, or queen g1, or something. Oh, it's a mistake. I wasn't sure what else you want to do. Queen g1? Or... Don't listen to the computer, just <laughs> keep going. So it's, so it's just like... Uh, white is really just defending against checkmate, and then I have to just grab the pawns around and figure out how to how to win. There was one moment if we just can come back to uh, it's like five moves back because I wanted to do a sacrifice there more 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 back after I played bishop e4 for the first time. So I just want to show you no back. One thing that I was really calculating a lot more almost there no back still back. Okay, here, so I went bishop e4, bishop d3, and I was calculating a lot, instead of returning, to take on d4. And there is like cool lines like bishop takes d4, I mean pawn takes b4, bishop takes d4, and now I thought about having bishop takes f4. Mm. And after rook takes f4, rook takes d4? I thought e5. Oh, e5? I mean, I can do rook takes d4, but probably she can just play bishop takes e4 and like there is check it was just so complicated i was thinking for five minutes because if it works i think i'm winning the problem is it doesn't work <laughs> 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 that's usually a problem when they don't work <laughs> because now the pawn takes the rook on I f4 just, i just hate that when it's, 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 exactly yeah. and, and bishop b5 check right so. and suddenly it's two bishops versus yeah. a rook and no contest so i spent like five minutes there and i was like six minutes on clock but i was like it should it should work so because it just looks perfect like my all my pieces are active so that's a, like when strategically are good like the tactic needs to strike in but it just wasn't working, so I was like, no, it has to work. And then and I was just like, okay, I have to return. You left it alone. Working. Well, you did get a winning dominant position at the end. You're now a 2-0 and o <laughs> in the tournament. Have you ever been a 2-0 and o in the U.S. Championship? Um, I think I was in, like, 2017, uh, 16, I think, when and I was leading I for some time the tournament. Oh, yes, I remember. <laughs> I remember. What do you got to do different this time? <laughs> I, I have much less pressure on myself, uh, and I just, I mean, I wasn't sure I'm going to win this game. I wasn't better. It was, it was equal. So I'm just going to continue playing my best. Sounds good. All right. Well, thank you so much. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Congratulations, Katya.